Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're talking about the four last things, death, judgment, heaven, and hell. In the last couple episodes, we talked about self-identity in the afterlife. Now, I think it would be a good idea to spend a few episodes addressing rewards. In this life, rewards for our actions often come in the form of some possession being given to us, or some pleasant experience which we can enjoy for a while. So, first off, do the saints in heaven have any actual possessions? Mostly, since possessions are good things, there's little question that they will exist in heaven in some form. The real question has more to do with what possessions will be like in heaven. Will they be privately owned and used mainly by the people who own them, as in this life? Or will they be communal possessions which are enjoyed and shared by the entire communion of saints? The first thing to remember is that because God is in heaven and God created the universe, heaven doesn't have a limited amount of resources, food, clothing, materials for construction, and so on. While they may be limited in this life in terms of how many we actually have, they aren't limited in heaven because God can create more when they're needed. In fact, however, none of these things are needed when God is fully present to people. Our only real need is for him. This is because, again, all goodness had God as its true nature, so everything that we desire is also found in God's nature. If God is fully and completely present to us, our desires will also be fulfilled. Once you realize that, all that needs to be said is right there in the 13th chapter of Matthew. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking gold pearls, who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went his way and sold all that he had and bought it. Matthew 13, 45-46 Jesus compares heaven itself to a possession, because that's what it is. Those in heaven have something which they didn't have before, something which, by the grace of God, belongs to them. The saints belong in heaven, just as a landowner belongs in his own home. However, that doesn't mean that heaven is an exclusive possession. Precisely because it's given to many people, it can't be exclusive. Precisely because it's unlimited and inexhaustible, it can be shared without anyone losing out. Each person can, in a sense, possess it without needing to exclude others from possessing it as well. So, with a proper understanding of what a heavenly possession is, possessions really do exist in heaven. The pearl of great price is real. Next time, do the souls in hell have possessions? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.